All right, thank you guys so much for joining me and I'm so happy to continuously see that you guys are subscribing and following. That does so much for my channel and my growth. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and your comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes you guys catch me in the middle of showing, so it may be a delay on my response, but I will get to you as soon as I can. On this video, I'm gonna give you guys as much detail as I can as my interview process with Redfin. Obviously, I passed the interview and I can give you guys my tips and tricks on what I used and how I got through. So the first person that reached out to me in Redfin was the recruiter, very nice lady. Can't remember her name now. Started off with asking my experience. What do I know about Redfin? How long have I been in the business? How did I handle these situations with my clients? What were my tough situations? What were my triumphs? And what are some things that I felt like I could have done better? They ask you those specific details. So you wanna make sure you have some good examples or things that you've done in work-related certain situations. But it's always about the customer. So always base your answers on the customer, how you help the customer, how you guided them in the right direction, how you resolve this situation. It's very key. Uh, another thing recruiter will ask is how did you find Redfin? How did you hear about Redfin and why did you apply for Redfin? And why do you want to take a different route in real estate? How I answered those questions, I do have experience. So I just said, hey, I was successful but I wasn't getting the consistent clients that I would need to sustain a full-time real estate career. And from what I've heard from Redfin, that you guys can assist me with doing that. I love helping people and I like guiding people in the right direction. I just don't have enough people in front of me to do that. See, just, just, just that simple. You could take that word for word. <laughs> now, I did hear people ask about the writing assessment. You know, man, I don't have the best of memory. Sometimes I just do things and just to, just to get through the process, but I don't remember getting a writing assignment. I don't remember that. Um, so uh, make sure you guys comment below if you did have to do a writing assignment, tell us how it went, what were the questions. It's greatly appreciated. All right, so the second interview is more intense interview. The first interview is a over the phone interview with the recruiter. Then the second interview is with your team manager and your market manager. They both will have their own sets of questions and it is a series of questions. This is gonna be a good 30 to 45 minute interview if they like you. I, I, I will say that I've been in interviews where it went fairly quickly and I, I, I you could feel if you got the job or not. So. In this interview, they are going to go in detail. How are you conducting your business? How are you meeting your clients? How are you responding to your clients? And how are you helping your clients through real estate? Now, don't lie about your deals. I'm not, I'm not sure if anybody thought about that, but don't lie about your experience because as far as MLS goes in real estate, they can see how many transactions you've done. So they can, they can see that. When I said that I've closed um, five deals, they were able to say, I, we can see that. So make sure you guys, you know, all that MLS is, is very trackable. I'm not sure if it's public record, but if you're in the MLS, you can find out uh, how many deals a real estate agent has closed. So you wanna make sure that you are honest with your answers. Of course, if you have any closings, they will ask how did that process go? How did you assist the client? What would that client say about you? Um, and so they're going to go in so much detail about you as an agent because they're trying to find that specific type of agent. They said it over and over in our training. We are all here for a reason. And it came and we are all through many different walks of real estate. Some people close a lot of deals some people have had listings and, and tons of of buyers some people are like me that close five deals close a couple deals and they're just trying to you know continue on in the business and then you have people that are just completely new you get all walks of life and training and obviously they will ask you what was difficult about those deals what are the things that you had to overcome in those deals i'm thankful that i had a fire in one of my listings. Um, I had a, a difficult family member in some of my buyers. Making sure that you're able to show your triumphs. And if you 
haven't closed a deal in real estate, then it would be in your job field, your previous jobs. I'm glad I, I'm glad because I prepared right before. I had realized I don't know much about this company. Um, so I did some research on my own and your recruiter will give you some helpful information. Um, but I didn't, it wasn't enough information for me to retain. So make sure you research information about the company before the interview. They will ask because in my interview, she just hammered me. So when she asked me, what do you know about Redfin? I said, I know that you guys are changing the way of doing things in real estate. You guys are full, you guys operate behind technology. You guys have very useful tools that cust that makes it easier for the customer in finding a home. And then she says, what else do you know? I gave her an answer. What else do you know? Who man. Uh, I gave her another answer and then she said what else do you know and man whew, I, I pulled one out out of the back end but I really I was like I was praying that was the last one and it was thank God um, but make sure you research because you know especially in the Oakland areas where I'm at um, our market manager is very blunt and you know very upfront about finding that person I could tell just by the way she answered my questions. And I, I know I, I killed that interview. I know I was answering those questions in a phenomenal way, but she kept a straight face. This is all I'm gonna say, you know. I, I could tell I was winning over my, my team manager, but she she's not a, 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 she's a tough cookie. Another thing, make sure you have access to your MLS because you want to know the current state of the market. If you're a new agent and this is going to be your first brokerage, then this is kind of different, but you still want to have some form of knowledge. If you can ask someone that you know that's in the business or you know maybe try and do some Google research, I'm sure you could find the information, but they will ask you about your market. They will ask you about how many houses sold, what is the current average price range in that area. So you got to make sure you do the study. You make sure you research. I researched, but I didn't do enough research. You know, I knew that there's homes that's been sitting on the market in the Bay Area because of the high price points. My manager had brought it up to me that homes are still selling in, in on average 13 days. So, so educate yourself and know as much data on your market. And it doesn't have to be just straight, really detailed data, just that specific, how many homes are selling uh, uh, in a month. Uh, what is the average price range in, in your market? So just knowing those specific details of your market goes a long way. Now, I can't say this for sure. I, maybe some markets are different, um, but I did hear from someone that interviewed with Redfin before I did and he he said the guy he interviewed with was dressed to the t but you know he felt like he wasn't kind of in the same appearance but obviously he didn't get the job and so he told me like hey man make sure you you dress i don't know how clean you you can you know what's the sharpest you can dress but come correct and come ready to be dressed and that's what i did you know i came in my in my sunday's best and you know i i did just that so uh, that's a tip, you know, from, from my friend, you know, that was a tip he gave me. I think that's very helpful. For, so make sure you guys come dressed to impress. And primarily base all of your answers in the benefit and base of the client. It's, it's, it's that simple. You know, they, they're looking for the customer first realtor, but they can pick you out. They can say, uh, you know, you don't, you don't got what we're looking for. And it's, it's easy. You know, I've, I've seen so many people that, that don't get the job and it's, you know, it's it, it sounds good because it's a it sounds like you'll get it because it's a real estate career and most most brokerages are pulling realtors, but Redfin they they have something special and they know it and they 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 stand behind their business model. One thing too, I will help you guys with on the last thing is they will ask you some trick questions and these trick questions it can seem simple, but there is an answer that they're looking for which is why I left it at the end of this video. So the trick questions are, how is the market? 
some of you might instantly jump in and say, oh, the market's good. It's a great time to buy. You, you don't know this person. I mean, you may not know this person. You don't know if they're, what's, what type of real estate are they looking to get into? So you want to answer that question in, well, it depends. Are you looking to buy or are you looking to sell? I'm running back for you. So if they ask, how is the market? You say it depends if you're looking to buy or if you're looking to sell. If you're looking to sell, it's a great time. If you're looking to buy, it's competitive, but interest, interest rates are low and it's a great time to take, take advantage of ownership and start building on that equity. That's how I answered that question. They're trying to make sure that you are able to hold a conversation with that client, able to reel them in. Another tricky question they will ask is, when is it a good time to buy? The answer I said is, it's always good to just be prepared. The, invent the inventory is low, but you just never know when a home that you may want is on the market. And God forbid that when that, if that ever does happen, you still need to get pre-approved. You still need to get paperwork in in order to get your offer in enough time before the deadline. So it's always a good time to buy. So you want to make sure that you are answering the question just like that. It's always a good time to buy. It's always a good time to be pre-approved. Okay. That's how I answered it. And I've been working here and it's, it's been great. You guys will get a video on more details on how I've been doing. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Just still working. You know, we did close that deal and I'm still just chugging, chugging, chugging along. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell. So you guys get a notification every time that I upload my content. You guys have a great day and stay safe.